have you found a way to make a vocal incredibly present without sounding chorused and too much reverb and too much delay? One, I'll use a, a compressor that like a 1176 or a DBX 160 or something like that and set it so it's only gonna hit, knock off the peaks, like a two to one. So it's not gonna like be squashing if you wanna use that term. Right. But I just wanna catch the very top so that, okay, then after that, I'll stick something like an LA-2A that's basically just going to be compressing all the time, but mild enough so that like probably never more than 3 dB of compression. Mm. And it can be a Fairchild, it can be a LA-2A, you know, uh, whatever you want. Or it could be a DBX-160 uh, in the over-easy setting. Yeah. You know, you can get away with that. That's more or less just to kind of get the vocal to set where you want it to sit. Yeah. When it comes to processing reverbs, I'll use a very small reverb because I want to put it in a sense of space. So if you think about it, when there's nothing on it, because people tend to stand in front of microphones very close mm -hmm. now, as opposed to you know, watch the old films way back when, and they stood back here. Mm -hmm. So now when you're this close, you don't really hear a lot of the room. Yeah. Well, what I do is I put the room back into it. So the vocal, instead of being dead up the center, mm -hmm. now when you put that room, it kind of does that. It's still in the middle, but it's just a little bit wider. Nice. 